Hey, 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 what is up, you guys? How are you? It is Michelle Eldridge. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I've missed you. It's been like two days and I, three days. I don't know. Too many days. Oh, that's probably going to be the freeze frame. Great. So what is up? If you are new, tell me in the comments below. Say new. Um, I want to welcome you. I want to thank you for being here. You are awesome. If you are on the replay, what's up? Um, say replay below so I can see what time you were tuning in, which is also awesome. I know it's a holiday, so some of us may not work today, like the ones that have jobs. Some of you may. What's up, Stephanie? And if you are on live, say hello. What is up? Happy Flippin' Monday. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Tell me what you're doing while you're watching this. I want to know all the things. Today, we're going to talk about self-tanner, bronzers, two different kinds of bronzers, and just makeup, okay? So, at, as always, okay, if you have any questions about anything that I use, I have links for everything. I have links for it all. So, what I want you to do is if you have any questions, you comment makeup below. And I will personally reach out to you myself. There's not a bot. I do not have anybody do it for me. I do it myself. I like to connect with my people on my own. So, if you are ready, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with the self-tanner. And so, I am a person who learned at a young age that a tan in bed just really wasn't for me. And if you're a mom and you have your, you're a stay at home mom or you are a single mom that has your kids on your own like me or whatever, then a tan in bed really is an option for you anyway. But for me, it was bad on my face. I would get spots and I would look weird and my, my cleavage done this weird thing. Thank God for milk cream that fixed that. But anyway, so long story short, I can't do a tan in bed. So, I researched and I went over all these different tanners trying to find something that would work for me because I am, as you can see, super pale, okay? And so, all I do, like you can do your full body with what I use, um, but I tried a lot of different ones and this is the one that works for me, okay? So, it's the easiest, it's the most, the one with the least maintenance, you don't have to do all these crazy things. So, here it is. Um, good morning. Um, this is called Tomas and it's, um, it says airbrush spray tan and I lightly go over and I just do my neck and my face. Like I said, it's a full body tanner. So you can do your legs, you can do your arms, you can do whatever you want, but I just do right here. Um, and that's it, but I lightly do it. And what you want to do is you want to, I'm just going to show you kind of what I do a little bit. I've already got some on, so I don't want to do anything crazy, but it's hard to kind of push down. Let me, let me put this lid down. Okay. So you want to hold it back arm's length and let me see if I can. And just spray your face, but you want to keep going. I've already got it on, so I don't want to like get a ton, but you just want to keep going just like this. And you don't have to worry about it being even because what you're going to do is you're going to get one of your old blenders like this one's old. And do you see how it's dirty now? That's the that's the the self tanner that's on this that's made it dirty, and that's okay, okay. But you can just do this because a lot of people use mitts, and I find that the mitts make me streaky and ugly. So I just use a blender, and I've done it on my neck as well. I've done this tan two nights ago, and I just wake up. Okay, so say I just done my tan right now. And I do it before bedtime if I'm going to do it. I wake up in the morning and I use my cleanser. Use something that don't sud up because all that does is strip your face. So our cleanser does not sud up. So I use it over my face super lightly. And it takes off all the extra that I don't want. I put it on my neck as well. And I get off the extra stuff. And then I go to bed. Now here's a tip. If you have like white if you do your full body and you have white sheets change your sheet but if you just do your neck and your face just if you have a white pillowcase i would change it or lay a towel on it or something because we don't want to stain your sheets but i recommend bedtime 100 percent because it's so much easier to do and in the morning you don't have to fool with it and you've got a tan for a good three four days okay okay now what do you do though if you self tan and you don't have that color well the color of your skin that it's going to be. 
Well, the, the cool thing is, is that all the colors that we have are just $14, right? But what if you just don't have the $14 to get another one and you want to self tan? This is what you do. So I'm going to show you what I'll do and I'm not going to change colors. I'm going to use the exact same colors that I used the other day when I was pale as a ghost. And I'm going to show you how I change it up and I'm going to use bronzer. Now, well, when we get to bronzer, you'll see. But, okay, let's start out. So I cleaned my brushes last night and they're all looking all brand new and fancy. Um, and I, like, the brush cleaner is the bomb.com. So I'm just going to go in this yellower color right here and it's gonna be a little light today because I'm darker, right? But again, we're gonna fix it. This is for people who can't get the color up. Now I do have the shade up that I would need, but I'm not gonna use it because I know that it's not, it's not as likely for you um, to just be able to do whatever if, it, you know, if you just have a last minute, I'm gonna get tan kind of feel well, this way it'll work for you, okay? Oh, and if you share, you're going to be entered to win a bronzer. A bronzer of your choice, um, whether you choose the cream or the powder bronzer, you're going to win one. Um, somebody's going to win. I'll probably actually give away two. Um, so if you share, comment shared below, and you can win a bronzer. So and you'll see how the bronzer works shortly when we get to that point. So the, the yellow base in this color that I'm using I have a pimple right here, and I'm just covered it up, and it takes that redness away. So I'm super red. When the seasons start changing, I'm super red. The other day, I went out, and I wasn't out, I don't know how long, but it wasn't very long, and I got chapped around my lips, and it gets dry, and it gets red, and I'm like right here, I'm chapped. So I have to be very careful in what I'm doing and watch the colors that I use. And so this color, is super yellow and what the yellow does is it cancels out the red and leaves the, the color that I'm supposed to be and that's what it does you you see it in the tan and you're like oh gosh that's so yellow she don't know what she's doing she did not color match me right I don't look yellow like that but it turns into my skin color because it is actually just canceling the red and just like like white peach, let me let me just go on a little tangent here. Like white peach has a peachy undertone, and so it'll cancel out like dark circles, um, purples, any blues, those kind of things, right? And when I'm more like, if when I'm less red, that's my color because I have more cool undertones. But when it starts like the season starts changing, that can't work for me. I have to have something with yellow in it that's gonna take away the red. Now, I'm just slapping this on, you guys, and again, if you have any questions about anything that I use, you can comment make it below. We do have, like I said, everything, every color is $14, um, and the skin color one happens to last around like five months. The rest of them last um, about a year or more, some around nine months, but for me, it's a year or more. Okay. So, yes, it would be awesome because they're awesome flipping bronzers. You just wait till you see them. I'm fixing to use them right here in a second. As soon as I get done slapping this on. It's washing clothes day. But Harley's taking a nap, so we're on borrowed nap time right now. That's what I call it. What's up, Summer? Um, I'm going to be at the laundromat, so if you are... Where after I'm done with this video, that's where I'm going. If you want to come by there, that's where I'll be, Summer. Okay. All right, you guys. So, I've kind of lowered my contour just a little bit. And I'm going to show you why. Now, most people, I don't want you to lower it, okay? So, maybe if you're contouring and you're like, well, do I lower mine? Just message me a picture of you and I can tell you if you need to or not. Most people, you want to lift it, not lower it. But for me... My face is like, if I put it too high, it just makes my face look so long. And that's not what I want, right? I don't want that. I have a weird shaped face as it is, and I don't want that. Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to get my detail hack brush. And I'm going to go into my contour. The contour will work on this skin color, even though it's a little bit darker. Because I use a darker for red undertones um, 
contour. So and I'm just scooping this around my big fluffy cheek here. That's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of seeing it. I'm making a C right there, okay? And then on my forehead, I didn't put anything in either of these spots. On my forehead, I'm just gonna draw some lines. Make sure I get it up in my hairline, super good. We can always get it out of our hair if we get it in it, but we don't wanna leave like a, bank, a blank space. Um, you definitely want to do your forehead, even if it's just a little bit, because it adds that dimension back in your face that we just took out by using that one color all over, okay? Now I've got, like, eyelashes everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take that same contour color and go underneath my jawline on the outside of my chin, of course, because I like to cut off my chin. I think that everybody here... If you've seen me before, you know that I do that because I have an underbite, prominent chin, and so I like to cut it off some. Okay, and I'll do my nose contour in a second, but I'm going to do it last pretty much because when I do bronzer, I do my nose contour just a little different. Okay, okay. Now, I don't do bronzer like in the summer. Oh, it's this contour, guys. I only do bronzer when it's... I only do bronzer when I start, like, getting red. I've got a hair on my face right there. I need to get it off. Hold on, you guys. Come on, little buddy. Okay. And now, what was I doing? I wasn't going to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this and then I'm going to do, I'm going to blend this and then I'm going to do um, the bronzer and then we'll move on to everything else. So you can use one of two bronzers. We have a cream bronzer, which is awesome for people who have dry skin or like a luminous look. Um, it's my favorite actually. Um, a little, little, teeny, tiny bit goes a long, 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 long way. And so it's super, like, it'll probably last me my lifetime. The, either bronzer, but definitely the cream bronzer. It'll last me, like, till I'm dead. Like, it's going to be, like, seriously. Yes. Dimension is everything, Richie. For realsies. Okay. Obviously, we're going to tone it down a little bit, but for now, this is good. This is good for now. Okay. Like, I don't care who you are. If you're watching this and you're like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not an artist. Just so you know, this took a lot of practice and I'm not perfect either. I'll never be perfect. But if you practice your way, you do it the way that you like to do it. There is no wrong way. You can't lose. Makeup is a form of art. You're, you're, you're making yourself beautiful in the way that you want to see yourself. The rest is irrelevant. So, if you have this makeup, if you have different makeup, use it the way you want to use it. I just teach the way that works the best to give you the best look that I possibly can teach you airbrushed without needing a filter. That's my mission is to help you feel more beautiful and learn how to do it. I truly have no other motive Besides that, because I was that mom, that girl who didn't know anything about makeup, didn't wear makeup because it was so complicated. This isn't complicated, and I'm here to help you, okay? Okay. All right, so I got off on a little tangent, but do you see now that my cheeks are like all these lifted, these lifted cheeks I have now, right? They're lifted, but if I had came up here and blended, it would have been right here, and then would have elongated my face. I don't want long faces, okay? All right, so let's go to bronzer. So this is our blush and bronzer brush. You can get our bronzer with this brush and it saves you like, I don't know how much money, I think $10 if you get it as a set. Our bronzers are 14 and 16, hey Becky, uh, 14 and $16. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is gonna be the cream bronzer, okay? And the cream bronzer, my daughter stuck her finger in it. But right here it is. Now, I'm gonna take the fluffier end Hold on, I've got something in it, I don't like that, okay. So I'm gonna take the fluffier end and just kind of barely run it over that, barely just run it over it. 
I don't want to press in it. I want it to be even all over the brush. So I'm just pressing and it's light, okay? Super light. Hey, you guys, if you don't know, if you share, you can be entered to win. Two people are gonna win bronzers. You can choose between powder and cream. So get your shares in and you can do that. Um, also, side note, there's the last makeup video I done on my personal Facebook profile. Um, I'm giving away a brush or two brushes. Today's the last day to share that video to get in on that. Um, and I'll be drawing the winners tomorrow. Just FYI. So when you get off here. Okay, so now we're going to take this and you're going to lightly touch where the sun will hit. Okay, so this is going to make my color be okay. Um, because I didn't sh shade up, but I done self tanner, right? I, I, there was no way, like, if you're a person who, I just don't, I don't, I can't get the $14, I can't shade up, pay $14 to get another shade up. Use the bronzer, okay? And you just want to touch it where the sun will hit. And this will make it so that you don't have to shade up. You can just bronze it up. And the sun's going to hit you normally right in here, right in here. Hold on, I need a little bit more. You got to be so sparing with it, you guys, because it's so pigmented. We don't want anybody looking orange, okay? So I just tap just a little bit more on there, just a little bit, because it will, I'm telling you, it will go crazy if you let it. And I don't like to let it, right? I like a more natural finish. To my face. And yes, I'm making this weirdo face at myself on purpose, but I have to right now. I need a little bit more. I'm telling you, I have to be so careful. <sighs> Come off of there. Okay. Tap it right there on my chin, on my nose. Thank you for sharing. Okay. My chin needs a little more because now I'll also highlight but uh, always after I bronze, okay? So now I'm taking this blender. You see I've not done my nose contour yet because I always take the bronzer and go on my nose because that is where the sun is going to hit. The sun's going to hit right here. And so I just take the bronzer everywhere that I need it, okay? Now we've used the cream bronzer. You've not saw the other bronzer. So we're going to take it out. Usually you don't use both at once, but because I'm showing you guys something, I'm doing it. So here's the cream, here's the here's the not cream, okay? Here's powder. So here we go. We're gonna just circle around in that. We're circling because it's powder, okay? We got some on there, quite a bit. You can tap your brush if you'd like, and then you're gonna go, instead of like right centered where we were, we're just gonna focus on our contour points, kind of, but in the center. And then you're gonna just go, and you can use either. It's totally your call, either one. Neither is gonna make you look like a Cheeto. We're not going for that look, okay? And again, I'm just lightly dusting this. Whoa, that's, that's blurry. It's trying to focus on what I'm doing. And it's struggling because I'm moving. Okay, so do you see how I've just kind of tapped that? I left this bright. I left this bright, but I warm this up, this up, this up. Now, I'm going to take this blender and blend it now. And you're going to see the magic happen when I add the rest of my colors. And I'm not going to look like I don't match when I'm done with my makeup because I've used Self Tanner. I'm using my same lighter shades colors with bronzer. And I'm going to look like I still match because of bronzer, okay? I'll do my nose contour after I do my blush. Okay, all right, make sure that I get this blended up here. Okay, now, and again, the bronzer and the, br shoot. A bronzer with this brush is the smartest way to go um, because it's cheaper if you get it as a set and because this brush, you need this brush. And then you can just flip it over just like I'm doing right now. And I like to wear the bare blush, this color right here, with the bronzer. Um, and so you can just flip it over, use a smaller end, get you some on there. I like to get quite a bit of bare um, and then blend it out as I go. So 
You want to smile at yourself. See where my contour ends. I want to put it right there. And just kind of blend it out. And it makes this nice. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a youthful, it's not too much, but it's not too little. It's the perfect combination. Hollywood or bare is what I would use when I use bronzer. Those two. And Hollywood has a pink color, but it also has this gold to it. Actually, I may add a little bit of that. No, I'm not. I'm just going to do this. But if you wanted to, it's got like this gold mixed in with the Hollywood. So it's a pinky gold. And it's like so pretty with bronzer. These two colors are the ones I would say. Bear and Hollywood with bronzer. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it and it's gonna be like, do you see how pretty it is? How natural it looks? I don't look crazy. That's kind of the point. I feel so weird because my nose contour isn't done yet and I've already done blush. But it's just like a pretty nice, like not warm. Um, the word I keep thinking is youthful. Um, and I guess that's a good word to use, so that's what I'll use. Okay, so now I'm going to do my nose contour, and we're going to go with the same contour that I use. Astoria, super universal, and so I love it for that. I could even use it in my brows if I wanted to, but I don't anymore because we have cola, and it's like black, but it's brown. It's not black. It looks black in the tin, but it, it's brown. And it matches my, whoa, that's not where I wanted that. And it matches my hair and my brows way better. That's what a double decker is good for. But a lot of you probably have um, a hack pack that holds eight, or you have a, a little uh, quad pack that holds four, um, because you don't need a million things, but once we start, we always, um, we seem to become addicted and we can just upgrade our compacts that way. Now this is crooked, so I'm going to fix it right there. There we go. On this side, you see that I use a little bit more contour because I have a knot on this side of my nose. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and go to my brows. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, well, um, I don't know, Summer. I'm going to be going to the laundromat in like an hour. So if you want to come there, awesome. If not, you'll just have to message me. But, so anyway, so I'm bringing this up to the top of my brow, okay? Because we'll blend it, but we want it to match. Now I'm just taking it and I'm going to blend down the sides with this brush. The multitasker brush is my baby. This brush is my, like I'd use it for everything. Okay, now I'm blending this out so much, but not all the way. I'm gonna get my blender and do the rest. Okay, we don't wanna take it off but we do want to tone it down, tone it down. We don't want to leave it looking like lines on our face, right? So you take your blender, your perfecter, whatever you're using. Hey, Brooke, what's up, Rockstar? Okay, and so you can still see that I've got this lump on this side of my nose, it's right here. What I do to fix that is I take the linen and I go, straight up just like that that's blurry sorry you guys and then I'll kind of highlight with it linen is also in our classroom collection that we have available right now and you see now I'm kind of highlighting with this color that's what I was telling you guys I'll still look bright but bronzed and that is what we want well that's what I want that's the look I'm going for so I'm just kind of tapping it in because I'll blend it out and it blends beautifully. And this right here, what I'm doing, will just 
make my nose contour look slimmer, more beautiful, more slim. And I like to take it over my, my eyes. I'll blend that in a second with my 30 second hack brush. And it makes a super nice, yes, you need a bronzer. It makes a super nice base for eyeshadow. So it makes your eyeshadow show up the color that it actually, like, instead of mixing with your skin color, right, it mixes with the, it. You'll put it on a white surface, and I've got my eyelashes everywhere. Okay, so I blended that. We blend this, and then I'll get my blender. So this is more of, like, an advanced sort of look, what I'm doing right now with this linen. But it's really easy, honestly, or I wouldn't be doing it. It does take practice to do anything, but what I really think is the biggest thing is just doing what you like. I mean, that's really the main goal is to like what you're doing, like what you look like, like that. That's it. Let me just spread this a little bit. I need a little more touch. I need one more touch of it. One more little touch right there. Okay. And you kind of just feather it out. Not too far. We don't want to take over our bronzer, right? We just want to kind of feather it over our brows just a little bit. And you see that I'm pressing. This is going to pack it and make my pores not visible. And it's going to make it so that I have an airbrush looking finish for someone with these big, huge pores. That's a big deal. So, like I have scars, acne scars on my face super bad. And this makeup makes me seem like airbrushed it like fills it in in a way that just I don't know makes me more confident in my own face I guess is the word I don't know so now I'm fixed this thank the G's thank you thank you Jesus for that my nose is always crooked so I have to like really play with it because of the knot that's on this side okay now, you don't have to nose contour. That's your call, okay? Understand that it's up to you, but I like to do it. Now, what I'll do in a minute will really spice that up. So let's get Illuminator and really spice the world up. So we're gonna get into Pearl with this Detail Hack Brush. And I don't know why, sometimes I use my finger, sometimes I don't. So you wanna smile and you want to put it on top of your cheekbone, like where exactly it would be. And it'll create this lift, and it'll be glorious when we blend it out, okay? Okay. Right now it just looks like I just plopped it on. There's an eyelash again, I'm telling you guys. They're falling out by the handfuls. So smile at yourself, go on the top of your cheekbone so that it's lifting that up, right? That's what we want. Yeah, of course you are. You always are. That's why I went ahead and said, just come to the laundromat because you won't be able to hear me or get a message. This way I know you heard me and you can come to the laundromat or whatever. Okay, so now I'm blending this in and I wish that you could see from this side. But the ring light kind of makes it hard to see, but I'll post pictures. You'll see. Okay, so I'm blending this up here to marry it all together. Okay, now I'm gonna do it down my nose. And this is a very, this is like an art. It is an art, I'm telling you. So you want to tap it on the tip of your nose, the bridge of your nose, and then lightly down the center. Okay, and then right here, I like to add a illuminator right there and a little bit right here. Okay, and then I'll just blend it. Chelsea Baker in the house. What's up, my sister? Okay, and then I just blend this off just a little bit and then I blend up. Blend up and then I blend this like this with the butt end. Right? With the butt end. And then when the light hits it now, it'll reflect and it'll hit on my nose. Like, you can see it a little, but the ring light makes it super hard to show you on here. Okay, so go around your nose. 
with your blender, your small lines. Anywhere that you have a line, go to it and blend it out, right? Now, let's go on to brows. Browsies. Oh, God. Okay. In the ER, why? Okay, so let's do brows. Brows are, I use this contour color. It actually comes in that collection I was telling you about as well. It's good for liner. Hold on. Well, that doesn't really matter right now that that's like that because I'm not used to setting spray or anything yet. But, so I'm going to just use this angled brush today because I got my multitasker dirty. This is actually the brow brush anyway. But I usually just use the multitasker brush. If you've watched me for a while, you know this. So I'm going to create an arch right here. Right there. And then I'll kind of come down with the brow. And if you've also been watching me a while, you know that I have no brows. My hair is everywhere. And I have very little to no brows. So I don't like to make them um, insane. I just like them to look natural and pretty. However, feel free to do anything you would like with your own brows, right? That's what we want you to do, is to do what you like. Now I'm going to touch a little bit more so I can turn this out. Yeah. Curve this out, turn it out, whatever I'm doing right there. You guys are like, well, what is she talking about? And again, to get in on the bronzer giveaway, all you have to do is share this video and comment shared. And you can pick which kind of bronzer you want, powder or not. Powder or cream. And I keep messing this up, you guys. That's why I keep touching it. But if I don't stop, I'm never going to fix it. Okay, I'm getting too nitpicky. Sick, I'm pretty sure tonsillitis from Quentin. Darn it. Well, that sucks. I don't like tonsillitis. That's not... Do you even have tonsils? Chelsea, oh you do, it's lymph nodes that you don't have. Lymph nodes, what are they called? I don't remember. Okay, that's blurry and I can't see my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm gonna make an arch here as well. Especially on this eye, because this one is my lazy side of my face. I have a dead, like more numb side of my face, which is this side. And so this side, I, I can't really move as much as the other side, so I have to like it's got less feeling in it. And so I have to lift it with makeup to make it appear more the same as the other side. If that makes sense at all, I hope it does. But anyway, point being is stress caused one side of my face to die a little. And sometimes it dies a lot that I can't move it at all. But for the most part, it's just numb most of the time. And I just... Like for the like most of my feeling isn't there. And so it's just dead and limp. Has been for like two years. And yeah. So I just use I, I create these lifts so that you can't really tell unless I tell you. My makeup makes it super fun. That's another reason that I really like like to be pretty. Because I don't feel as, like, droopy, I guess is the word. I don't know what the word is. But that's probably not the most technical term I could have used. But that's what it is. That side of my face is just drooped over. And there's really nothing I can do much about. Except playing makeup. Okay. Now let me make sure. Now I need to thicken this side up a little bit. I know brows are the worst part of this. I didn't think you had tonsils. I didn't think you did. Okay, so this side is still thicker. Sorry, you guys. Ugh. It's horrible. For the replay viewer, skip past this for like 15 seconds and I'll be done. 
because this part is boring and I'm so sorry. But my brows have to be done. I can't live without my brows done. Okay. There, they're done. So now I'm just going to take this end of it, the spoolie end, and just kind of lighten it up a little bit so that it's more natural looking. Okay. Same thing over here. Because there's really no hair there. There's very little. It's all drew in. So I have to kind of make it more natural. Okay, let's do eyeshadow. So I'm going to play with some fun colors. Um, I'm going to use, so you see I'm wearing like this darker shirt. So I'm going to use, in my crease, I'm going to use Trust. And then I'm going to go back in with Finn. I'm going to play with Stardust. But first I'm going to play with, I'm going to put Pup as a base. And rock it out. Right, y'all. I'm going to put Pup as a base. Yeah, well, that's what they said. Um, it's called something. But I don't... I didn't want to embrace it. Like, I didn't want to draw more attention to it. Like, by learning all the technical terms. And why... Like, all I knew was stress done it. And it started like it happened. I knew when it happened, which was like, I thought back to when it first happened, which is about two years ago. And I can remember what was happening two years ago. And it's just kind of stayed the same. And that's okay. Um, but I just like, I like to lift it. I don't know. But anyway. So I'm going to go into Finn. I'm actually not going to use Trust, actually. I'm lying. So I'm going to use Finn. I'm going to get it on the end of this brush. And it's a shimmery, if you can see, it's like a shimmery gold looking something. Um, but I'm going to play with it. And you want to start up here, okay? Up here, above. I've learned this and I've found it to be something that I love so much. Yeah, and it's scary. It is scary. But... I just don't like to, uh, I just know that it is what it is. And I can't do anything about it now. It just happens. Some days I wake up and I really can't even, like, this side of my mouth is like, oh, man. So I try to use, like, if I, if I do makeup looks or something on a decent day, I'll take pictures that day so that I can use them on the days where I can't move my face. On one side. Hey, Rita. Okay, so we're going to do this over here as well. Okay. I'm just focusing in, in that corner. All we're doing is creating lifts over and over again, okay? We're contouring and highlighting our eyes right now. Pretty much. That's what we're doing. And Finn is a beautiful, beautiful color that is really underrated, I feel like. It's not too strong. It looks strong in the tin. But if you if you very if you pick it up a little at a time and play with it, it's not bad. And so I'm gonna lift this up some. So when my eyes are resting, they look the same, right? You guys hear me talk about it a lot. So I want them to look the same. So I blend this side up more so that they, when they rest, I knew that you would love the linen. It is awesome. So when I'm resting my eyes, they appear the same. Even though if I close my eyes, there's always more color right here. Nobody cares what your eyes look like closed. So I think that it's important to realize that your eyes are going to be open for most of the time. Okay. So I'm wiping the end of this brush off and I'm going to get Sabrina and I'm going to come up here and highlight underneath my brow. I didn't mean to go right there with it. Let me get that off a little bit. There we go. And just come down with it like that to the tail of my brow. And just pick it right there. Now, same thing on this side. Get has in a shot in my hip. What? You're getting a shot in your hip, is that what you're telling me? Because you're confusing me. Q. 
These are messed up. Okay. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take that same Sabrina and I'm just gonna kinda go right here. I like to use it as a highlighter as well. Cannot wait till the illuminators, the powder illuminators come out so that I can set my other one with it. That's kind of what I do. Okay, I'm trying to get that eyelash off my face. Okay, now we're gonna take, we're gonna, do you see what we're doing? So, so far we use Pup, Finn, Sabrina, right there, and we're gonna use Stardust right now. We're gonna pack it on just like this, and then we're gonna go right here with it. So we're sticking with the gray, the gray charcoal -y vibe. And it's going to be glorious. Okay, so now we're going to go back into Sabrina. Make sure you wipe it off. Go back into Sabrina. Go to the corner of your eyes. And just fluff it out, okay? Fluff it out. Make sure you blend it because too much. Look at that eyelash. I'm telling you, I'm losing hair. Eyelashes like crazy. It's just part of it, I guess. And we're just going to feather it out. We don't want to use too much in one spot because it will look bad, okay? So we're just feathering that out. Just like that, okay? And now we have an awesome looking eye look. That is awesome, right? And we're tan. Okay. So now, well, because it is easy, and I've practiced a whole, whole lot. Um, it's simple. It is easy. You just, like, there is, it's different. So, it, it, there is a learning curve, but it's worth it. Like, after you've done it a few times, you get better and better and better. Just like anything you do, riding a bike, a little baby walking that you know you might mess up a couple times but you will get better because that's just it's part of it it's just the facts that's how it's going to work so now i'm going to do my liner and show you guys the, the versatility of so this is the color that i've actually used in my brows the brush that i used in my brows as well and i'm just going to use it to wing it out a little bit And it makes a nice straight line. Like if you stamp it on, it makes a super nice straight line. And instead of it being like pitch black, it just opens my eye up and that's my my that's my goal. I don't want to have um I don't want to have smaller looking eyes because I have smaller eyes already. So, I want them to be opened. Especially this one. Because it's closed. I'm going to wing it out right here. Make sure that you comment share it if you share so that I know who's going to be in the giveaway. Okay? Thank you guys, because it'll only tell me so many times, and then it'll say your video's been shared 40, 42 times by friends, and it won't say who the friends are, so you have to make sure that you are, Summer's back, or you are saying um, that you share it as well, okay? So I want to get a couple of you guys some bronzer. Especially since you bared it with me through this, the brows and all that I've done today so far. Self tanner. And if you didn't catch the beginning of the video, I highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm winging this out. Not a lot, but a little. That's what I'm doing, if you're wondering why I keep going over that. And I'm blending this. I want it to match, but not be too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, the just the tip, tip end of it, 
and go right here. So it doesn't matter if you make a little bit of a mess, we can always clean it up. But you want to start dark here and make it connect to your upper liner, if you're wearing upper liner. And just blend it out this way. Now watch what I'm talking about when I said we can clean it up. Just take your fingernail and clean it up. And then you blend what you use this way. And we'll get a Q-tip. And anything that I mess up on, because I mess up a lot underneath my lashes, especially on this eye, I just clean it up. And then it's there all day and it doesn't move. It does not move. Okay. I really jacked this side up. So hold on, let me get a Q-tip really quick. So I've gotten the Q-tip. Oh, guess what tomorrow is? We're gonna do an unboxing. Tomorrow's gonna be so fun. There's gonna be a cool unboxing on this. I don't know if it'll be on here or my personal page, but it will be somewhere. Okay. Now. Now I'm good. So I don't have just like black lines or whatever. I don't look like just I just drew black on my face. Now we're gonna get now we're gonna get the you're so nice, Richie. You always are. So now we're gonna get your mascara, lash mascara. I already curled my lashes. I always do before I get on the video. Oh boy, that just was fun, wasn't it? Okay, I always do before I get on the video because I feel like time wasters for you guys. I don't want to waste your time. I would start my videos with my brows done, but I get so many questions about brows that it's almost like, well, do I or don't I? I don't know. Anyway. Um, but you want to curl your lashes if you can. Um, you don't have to if you have a good mascara, but I do recommend curling them so that you know that the mascara is going to go on and, and make the shape that you already created. It's got a guideline to follow then versus you trying to hope that your lashes do well for you that day. If you curl them, you know they're going to do well because, well, you curl them, and that's blurry. Thank you. So I've got hair on my hand, and that's fun. Okay. Well, you say that, but not everybody probably say that. I really don't. I, I value everybody's time, and that's why I do the videos like I do it right now, so that later, if they need to come back later and watch or whatever, they totally can. But if anybody at any time has questions about anything I use, um, you can message me. I, or comment makeup and I'll message you either one but what will happen is when I'm off this video I'm gonna look what I done let that dry and don't touch it um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the um, a link for the self tanner that I use in the comments and I'm gonna use I'm gonna also put the link for the bronzer um, either bronzer the one link you can choose which bronzer um, you want um, and I'll put both links down there. So if you want either the self tanner or the bronzers, you can get them. And I have absolutely, or either or, or whatever. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm glad you have people time with me. Now I've got to get this off me because I just made a mess with that black. And sometimes that happens. So, just want to kind of let it dry and then get it off. Now, let me see. Jace, honey. Are you, let me look down. I can't see if that's my lash or my eye. I guess that's a good sign.
Okay, let me fix that. That's blurry again. Make sure that I don't have any other messes. Nope. I got a little happy with that today, didn't I? Okay, so now on my lips, I'm just going to finish with my lips and be hopping off. So I'm going to actually use, so I put bare on my cheeks. I'm going to put that on my lips as well. And I want it to stay all day, so I'm packing it like this. If I just wanted it to last a little while, I would just rub it on with my finger and not hack it. Now, I have dry lips, okay? If you have dry or cracked lips like me, you want to take a color. So what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna take black cherry just a little bit. That's a matte color. So you wanna take a color that's not matte, go over it just a little, to give your lips back that not matte look. Because when you have when you have cracked or dry lips and you use matte lipstick or lip color of any kind, now I'm getting my illuminator, it's gonna make a, it's gonna show your cracked lips more, a matte color will. But if you add like a gloss over it, let me do this again a little bit. Okay, there we go. If you add like a gloss over it, then do whatever, it will not accentuate your cracked lips. Okay. Now, I am good to go, I think. I gotta stay, spray my face. And spray my face. But do you see how I still like, I use my normal white pale shades, but adding the bronzer made me match myself tanner, right? And that is the goal. We don't want, we're not looking to, like if you can't get that shade up, that's okay. Most everybody, if they tell me they like to look a little darker or maybe they have messaged me and they're like, hey, tell me about this bronzer. Um, you've already got the bronzer and if you don't like I said I'm going to link the bronzer and the spray tanner in the comments I'm gonna put spray tan here's the link um, bronzers both bronzers that I used will be linked as well hello Alexandria hey Courtney I'm just kind of tapping this because I sprayed it right really hard right there on my eye I don't want that to happen. Okay. But I usually don't spray after mascara, lash mascara. But I did. But do you see how much better I look tan? I feel like I look way better tan. Um, and this stuff, like I said, this right here is all you need. Literally. That's all you need. I'm going to put it over here so that I don't forget it because Harley will get it. But let me show you now. What it looks like, of course, this is still kind of wet, my, my stay spray. But the eye look is super cute. It vibes with this shirt. And then the bronzer, obviously, it's, it's just warmed up my normal color, the spray tan. Everything just kind of flows, and that's what we want, right? So I will take a, I've already took a before picture. I'll take an after picture. And I'll post it in the comments below so that you guys can see it like really up close without like the light in our face. Because this light helps you to see and helps me to see. But you'll see a really big difference when I just take a still shot. So I will show you guys that. And if you have any questions, whatever, just message me. Um, the spray tanner does have a shipping fee, but the bronzers do not. Um, you'll see that when I link them below. So, um, if you have questions about anything, just let me know and I'll talk to you next time. And if you're a network marketer for whatever reason, Motivation Monday on my personal page tonight, I'll see whoever there. So, bye!